What's up, everybody? <coughs> Excuse me. I want to do a quick mail day um, from Panini. I'll tell you why Panini is pretty much on point right now. Um, I think they took over for Donruss as far as hooking you up on Redemptions. I uh, wish I could say the same for Upper Deck right now, but I can't. Uh, but I had seven Redemptions that I had been saving up um, from 07 Donruss Elite Extra Edition, which were supposed to have expired in August of 2009. August of 2009, and all I did, they look like this, you know, you have to actually have to fill them out and send them in. Sent in seven of them about a week ago, maybe a week and a half, and they all came back today, every single one of them, all seven. So, hats off to Panini. Didn't, no questions asked. Didn't have to say anything about them being expired, they just hooked it up. Uh, I got a Brian Anderson, number to 100, turn of the century. JP uh, Arincibia, number to 500, turn of the century. A red status die cut of Henry Sosa out of 50, auto. And a Tony Thomas red die cut, 47 out of 50. And then I got two collegiate patches, uh, one of Tommy Hunter from uh, University of Alabama. Any um, Bama PC guys, maybe Big Fish, let me know. And uh, this nice Bobby Hurley. Uh, Duke Collegiate Patch. That's a pretty sick one right there. Kind of like that one. And I had one from uh, 08 Donner's Threads also. Wasn't expired, but uh, Matt Mitchell. Uh, rookie Letterman, number 240. So, that's it. Um, yeah, Panini for the win. It's been really good so far about A, re redeeming cards that you're due to get, and uh, damaged cards, cards that are damaged, hooking you up with something comparable or replacing the exact same card and that kind of stuff so hats off to panini good stuff thanks for watching peace